everyone, it's Dave, and we are back for our next reading of the New Testament. So if you want to go ahead and get your Bible out. For those of you who have been following along, you know that we are in 1 Corinthians. And we're going to be starting chapter 4 today. We'll be reading out of the New King James Version. Topics that we're going to cover today include stewards of the mysteries of God, fools for Christ's sake, and Paul's paternal care. So we have a total of only 21 verses today. So as always, um, if you don't have a Bible, remember that you can go to Bible.com um, and read for free. And then you can also download the YouVersion, Y-O-U version app um, on any Android or iOS device as far as I know. So um, and there's tons of, tons of different versions on there, so it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, all right, so hopefully you've had time to um, go ahead and get that started, or I should say get to the chapter here, but um, so let's go ahead and get started. Let a man so consider us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that one be found faithful, but with me it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by a human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself, for I know of nothing against myself, yet I am not justified by this, but he who judges me is the Lord. Therefore judge nothing before the time until the Lord comes, who will both bring to light the hidden things of darkness and reveal the counsels of the heart. Then each one's praise will come from God. Now these things, brethren, I have figured true figuratively transferred to myself and Apollos for your sake, that you may learn in us not to think beyond what is written, that none of you may be puffed up on behalf of one against the other. For who makes you differ from another? And what do you have that you did not receive? Now if you did indeed receive it, why do you boast as if you had not received it? You are already full. You are already rich. You have reigned as kings without us, and indeed I could wish you did reign, that we might also reign with you. For I think that God has displayed us, the apostles, last, as men condemned to death, for we have been made a spectacle to the world, both to angels and men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are distinguished, but we are dishonored. To the present hour we both hunger and thirst, and we are poorly clothed and beaten and homeless. And we labor working with our own hands, being reviled we bless, being persecuted we endure, being defamed we entreat. We have been made the filth of the world, the offscourging of all things until now. I do not write these things to shame you, but as my beloved children I warn you. For though you might have ten thousand instructors in Christ, yet you do not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. Therefore I urge you, imitate me. For this reason I have sent Timothy to you, who is my beloved and faithful son in the Lord, who will remind you of my ways in Christ, as I teach everywhere in every church. Now some are puffed up as though I were not coming to you, but I will come to you shortly, if the Lord wills, and I will know not the words of those who are puffed up, but the power. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. What do you want? Shall I come to you with a rod, or in love and a spirit of gentleness? I love Paul's writings. He's uh, very blunt to the point, and I truly respect that, kind of having the same attitude and <laughs> makeup that he has so um, thank you all for uh, joining me yet again on another adventure through the New Testament I appreciate it I hope that you got something from it I always get something uh, when I read Paul's writing so even if it's just a little bit there's always something there that that speaks to me so I hope it speaks to you as well thank you so much for watching I hope you guys have a blessed day God bless when life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this.
Christmas. He's right there to guide you, unseen you're not.